Also tonight, we have discovered that there's an awful lot of secrecy surrounding a tiny airport northwest of Houston. But the warnings about trespassing and videotaping aren't about airport security. Channel 2 Investigates discovered it's all about how your tax dollars are being spent. The feds kept us out, so we cranked up the chopper and flew above to find out the scope of this waste. Hundreds of FEMA trailers, we discovered, sitting empty, never used, being resold at a huge discount. Investigator Mario Diaz exposes the practice, revealing how flood victims are the ones who lose. Every investigation is a journey. This one starts right here. Nice little day, isn't it? It's beautiful. You're about to see an introduction, handshake, and a lightning fast denial. I'm with KPRC Channel 2 in Houston, NBC. Okay. Is it possible we can take our cameras into the facility here? Oh no, they don't do any photography inside. This is not a top secret government facility. It's the tiny town of Hearn, Texas, a speck on the map two and a half hours northwest of Houston. Not much action in town, but there's plenty of business behind the tall fencing at the local airport. They're really strict about cameras. Oh, yeah. Perhaps it's because the government does not want you to see what Sky 2 captured early one Saturday morning in January. FEMA trailers designated for use after Hurricane Harvey. Dozens upon dozens lined up ready to be sold at massive discounts. Units deployed after the storm. But Channel 2 Investigates discovered some are brand new, never been lived in, and the feds are selling them to the highest bidder. I say FEMA, you say? <laughs> I'm not allowed to say that. I don't want to say that word. Anita Shiflett nearly lost everything in Harvey. Her family qualified for FEMA housing, a government contractor informing them they had room for a manufactured housing unit. There was no question, no problem. And then we get the RV. Instead of a manufactured home, they received this 28-foot travel trailer. As soon as they brought that trailer here, we were fighting. Battling for one of FEMA's MHU units. They promised it, but they gave it to somebody else. So imagine her reaction when we showed her what we discovered on the federally owned GSA Auctions website. We're 10 minutes away from the closing bid on a 2018 manufactured home in Hearn. Wow. For weeks, Channel 2 Investigates monitored the auction of FEMA trailers. The vast majority, 2017 and 2018 models. Units with unwrapped new furniture. Opening bids, $100. I bought it from the FEMA sale. Donnie Ganaway yes, met us days after picking up his new purchase in Hearn. I think I got this trailer for $19,244. Inside of Donnie's 2018 Southern Energy model, we found a sparkling new oven, an immaculate fridge with paperwork still inside, even an activation tag in the smoke alarm. There were new drawers, spotless carpet, and a mattress still wrapped in plastic. Most revealing, documents detailing a manufacture date months after Harvey. It's amazing. I can't explain it but they have their way of doing things and why I don't know. The state says FEMA's reimbursing them nearly $45,000 for units like this one. The federal agency admits to Channel 2 Investigates their average is $64,500 when they buy the units, with some topping out at $70,000. And let's not forget, Donnie bought his never lived in trailer at auction for just over $19,000. Were you surprised that you got it? I, I was excited. FEMA admits it periodically sells surplus housing units, adding that manufactured homes that were never occupied but stored for several years begin to fail with time. And keep in mind, some trailers are like new and stored for less than a year. The message from Anita and Donnie, a simple one. We're gonna need them again. These areas are gonna flood again. I would say they've been reused them. Now, there are two congressional rookies who campaigned hard on Harvey issues. Both have legislative oversight over FEMA. Representatives Dan Crenshaw and Lizzie Fletcher. We informed their offices of our findings, but both failed to accommodate us for a formal interview. We hope to sit down with them in the near future. Bill and Dominique, a lot of taxpayer dollars being spent right now on these units or have been spent on these units um, being auctioned off good enough for the public to live in for many more years, apparently not good enough to have around for any more hurricane seasons in the near future. Now, mm. we're gonna show you tomorrow exactly who is buying 
these trailers and where they are ending up. Man, Fasc some people get a great deal, others not so good. Right. Thank you, Mario. All right. Great story.